your tube. It's a little tall thing I can squeeze it to my pad here. And we'll zoom in to it's the fine pixel spot. So figure two, DNA methyl transferase inhibition, lax memory consolidation, in a plastic manner. This is, these are cool results. So intra-CA1 infusion, remember CA1 is a subfield of the hippocampus. So these rats are getting a drug delivered directly to the hippocampus. Uh, infusion of the DNA methyl transferase inhibitor immediately after contextual field conditioning. That training uh, blocked consolidation. So the infusion after training blocked memory consolidation as demonstrated by the absence of freezing behavior of the 24-hour test. So let's, let's go up to panel A here and there's a schematic to tell us what's going on. And the schematic is there's a, a training period for field conditioning. Then shortly thereafter, there's this DNA methyl transferase inhibitor uh, and then there's a test. And there are subsequent trainings and tests afterwards. And we'll talk about that next, but we're just talking about this, this first step here. So this is DNA of the transferase inhibitor immediately after field conditioning. And we see that um, after, after this training, the percent of freezing is much lower in the rats that got the DNA of the transferase inhibitor versus just the vehicle. So this is test one, percent freezing at test. These are rats freezing out of fear. With just a vehicle, it's about 65% better freezing, give or take a little bit here. Much lower, you know, maybe 16% are freezing with the methyl transfers inhibitor, which is some evidence to suggest that there is a strong effect from the DNA methyl transfers inhibitor in blocking memory formation. And there are subsequent tests, and we'll read about that in the caption. So, however, memory in these rats, even if they're given the DNA of the transferase inhibitor, their memories are formed normally on test day two. That's the same animals that we trained immediately and we wanted to consolidate the memory in the absence of drugs. So these rats were trained again. Uh, there was no you know, lingering damage you might expect. There was no lingering effect. These animals could be trained to have fear on a subsequent day. And there was a third round of training two on these animals to show that the rats were capable of forming memories equal in strength to the rats that were trained only with a dummy vehicle and no inhibitor. And you can see that back here in, in panel A, test A2, we see more of you know, a fear effect coming back to these rats. And this uh, differential here is with the vehicle, there's about 90% of the rats freezing versus about 60% of the rats freezing that had the inhibitor early on their training. It's still significantly different, but you'll see that the difference here is less. And sure enough, by day three, then there is no significant difference between the rats that have been uh, administered the DNA of the transferase inhibitor versus the vehicle. So these rats are able to learn just as well um, if they're allowed to be trained on fear later. So that's, that's interesting because of the transient effect of this drug uh, and uh, the rats uh, are able to learn later. So let's unpack the other figures here. Panel B, the DNA method transfers inhibitor infusions don't block memory formation if administered six hours after training. So this is an immediately after now. This is six hours after. So presumably then this means that uh, the memories have already been formed. So the DNA methyl transferase inhibitor has nothing to do here. You know, those, those methyl groups are already on the DNA. There's, there's no difference in the freezing of these rats. I kind of see here, this is closer to my heart. I look more at pathology. They're showing where the injections are in uh, CA1. 